Hey everyone, Sean Tierney here from the Automation Blog. And I recently had a reader who got confused when he tried to connect up to a brand new machine that came with a control logics that already had a program in it. And I'm going to show you why he was confused because the prompts inside of uh, Studio 5000 and RS Logics 5000 are kind of confusing. So this is an instance where you don't already have a program and you want to connect to the machine and upload what's in it. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Now you can see here in Studio 5000, the splash screen gives us a from upload option. So let's go ahead and select that. And now I'll browse out through my RS links here and I need to choose a newer controller. I'll choose my L16. We'll expand that and I'll choose the processor here. You can see it's instant fizz. Let me go ahead and upload. Now the first place it gets confusing is right here. What do you do? Well, you actually want to select select file. You think you would get some other prompt there because you're uploading a brand new program. Why are you choosing select file? But just trust me, this is what you do. So we're going to select select file. And here we have to put in the name of the program we're uploading. In this case, it's called Instant Fizz. I'm going to call it version 3. And go ahead and select it. Again, you would think it would say Save As, but the terminology is Select. So we'll just choose Select. And now you can see it's asking us, do you want to create a file called Instant Fizz 3 and upload it? Yes, I do. And now Studio 5000 starts the upload. Now that was kind of strange. Some of those selections don't really make a lot of sense, but that's how it works. Now, if you want to see how to do it in RS Logics 5000, I'll go ahead and do that next here. I already have 5000 open. We'll go Communications, Who Active. Okay, let's select a, uh, oh, I got another L23 here. Let's select that and we'll select Upload or we can select Go Online. Let's go ahead and select Upload. And again, we see it doesn't give us a save as, it says select file. So we'll go ahead and select that. We'll give it a new, new name here. I'm just gonna call it test. And uh, there we go. And then I'm gonna hit select again, not save as, select. And you can see again, it's saying, do you wanna create this file and upload it? Yes, I do. And now it's uploading. So let's go ahead and switch back to Studio 5000. You can see we're online and we have the file saved on the hard drive. And that's how you actually upload and save a new file that you've never uh, had before when you connect up to a new machine. Now, if you thought that was helpful, you can support our show by uh, going over to patreon.com forward slash automation and making a small monthly pledge. And that will help us remove all the ads from all of our videos. You can also get my full 10 hour long control logics course over at theautomationschool.com. And if you want to save some money, you can use my TAB20, that's TAB for the automation blog, and the number 20, you can use that coupon code to save 20% off of any of my courses. And with that, that's the end of this tip. Until next time, peace.